Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a eyebrow stamp pen. I bought this product whilst I was in Japan and I thought it looked really cool. So what it is, is a eyebrow stamping kit. In the kit, it comes with a stencil and a cushion type pen that dispenses pigment when you twist the bottom of the pen. It comes with two eyebrow stencils, one is thicker and one is thinner, but both of them are fairly straight. In Japan, a lot of people don't really like really arched eyebrows. They like to go for something more straighter, just like the Korean look. So um, being a Japanese product, they're obviously catering to the women over there. So for my eyebrows, I feel like I do have a bit of an arch to it. Um, it's not completely straight. So I'm kind of like interested to see what the stamp will look like on my natural shape. This is what the pen looks like. At the top, it's got a cushion tip. And at the bottom, you just twist it to release the pigment. This product is supposed to be really easy to use, so virtually foolproof. Now, um, I have tried another stamping um, eyebrow product before. That was pretty much a disaster, but um, this does look very promising to me. So let's give it a go. First, I'm gonna remove my brow product. I have some pencil on, so I'm just gonna remove that. Now I have to choose a stencil. I think I'm gonna go with a thicker brow because that looks like it will fit my natural shape better. Yeah, that looks okay. Now with the pen, I'm just gonna twist it to release the pigment. It's new, so maybe it takes a couple of twists. Okay, I can see it come out now. And then I'm just gonna run on the back of my hand first, just to spread that product out. Also, if you're wondering, this color is light brown. There's three colors to choose from, a dark brown, a reddish brown, and this color. Okay, so now I'm just gonna place the stencil on and I'm just gonna hold it on with two fingers and like do a peace sign like that. It's a bit hard because it's so straight, but let's give it a go. Um, then I'm just gonna stamp the pen on lightly. Okay, time for the big reveal. Hmm, um, it's not like the best shape, but I can easily clean it up. Okay, so after cleaning it up, it doesn't look so bad. I think I just need to add a little bit more the front. Ta-da! So this is the end result. What do you guys think? I think it's like so far much better than the other stamping product that I used and it's not too bad. I actually really like the color of this. For my natural shape because I have a bit more of an arch than the stencil I just had to remove some of that but other than that it's actually pretty easy to use. Let's try the other side. So again I'm just going to place the stencil on and then just gonna stamp the pen on lightly. Okay. It's a bit short. <laughs> That's okay, I'm gonna like use the tip to just drag it out a little bit. It's actually not that bad. I think I just gotta blend this front bit in a little bit. So I'm just gonna use the tip to just like lightly feather it in. Okay, so that's that side done. It didn't really take long to fix up at all. I wouldn't say it gives you like the best defined eyebrows, but I do think the pigment is actually really good. It's better than like a powder because it's like liquid and it comes in a cushion tip like this. It dispenses it really evenly, so it's not patchy at all. That's what I really like about it. I guess the only thing I would say is just the stencil doesn't completely suit my eyebrow shape, but you know, what are the chances of like, two stencils suiting everyone's eyebrow shape. Not that high. But if you guys have like other stencils at home, feel free to use that. The pen is actually really good though. I really like it. Now that I've zoomed out and I'm looking at my eyebrows from a distance, I think they look really good. I really like the shape. What do you guys think? 
And yeah, like they're completely dry now. It was pretty wet when I first stamped it on, but now like they're completely dry. So this is awesome. I would have to say this is one of the best eyebrow stamping products or like products that I use with a stencil. Usually like those fiber or mascaras or stamping products don't work too well, but this one has to be on the top of the list for me. If you like the look of straight eyebrows, definitely try these stencils out. But if you have like a more of an arch like me, try to find a stencil that suits your natural eyebrow shape and your face shape. I think, you know, using the pen definitely makes a difference and it's worth it. Now it's time to rate this product. I'm gonna give this eyebrow stamping kit a nine out of 10. I think it's definitely one of the best ones I've used. And I love how pigmented this pen is. It works really well on your eyebrows and it doesn't leave it patchy whatsoever like other products and it just dries really quickly and I can feel that it's going to be very long wearing like that that's already dry see it's really quick I would definitely recommend it to those of you who have trouble filling in your eyebrows or if you just really want to speed things up in the morning you know like using a stamp and like just like pressing it on it doesn't take long at all and it's very easy to control because it's in a pen however the only like downfall is that it only comes with two different eyebrow stencils so it's not going to suit everyone but if you guys can find like a stencil that suits your eyebrow shape and your face shape it's definitely worth buying the kit just to use the eyebrow stamping pen so that's it to this episode of Tina tries it now if there's any other products that you want me to try make sure you comment and let me know below and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos I'll speak to you guys next time bye